Hi guys, I'm Coach Azmi and welcome to the S17 Daily Football Fitness Challenge. The aim of this 21 day football challenge is to get you ready to play football again. And each challenge has three stages. First is the beginners, second the uh, intermediate and third is the advanced stage. And once you've mastered one level, go on to the next one. And if you're not, just go back to the same level, uh, one down and keep on practicing. The most important part of all this is to actually have fun. Uh, if you like the challenges and want to try more, do follow us on our Instagram, Facebook and also our YouTube channel. So let's get on with today's topic. I will be talking to you through some football tactics for beginners. First, on your screen you will be seeing a 4-4-2 formation. During a build-up play when the ball is with the goalkeeper, as you can see, the entire team is opening up, making full use of the space that they have uh, and trying to open up the opponents as well. Once the ball is being played to either right or left, on this scenario, it will be played to the left first. You can see when the ball is travelling, the players on the right side will be shifting in, that is to create balance. When the ball is being transferred back to the goalkeeper, they will be opening back again and when the ball is being transferred to the right side you can see the players on the left side doing the same thing as what they did before this okay and the moment the ball is being transferred to the goalkeeper again they will make sure that they open up and make full use and also trying to stretch the opponent In the intermediate level, I'll be explaining to you why is it important for one side to shift in when the ball is being played to either left or right side. For on this video, as you can see that the ball is being played on the left side and you can see that the players on the right side are actually shifting in. Now, the most important uh, why we have to shift is also to create balance, provide support and most importantly is to prepare us when we lose possession. On this video, you can see that the left back actually loses possession and it allows us to be compact and uh, regroup quickly, uh, making sure that our transition from attack to defense is fast. The moment we regroup, you can see that the player nearest to the ball actually uh, gets to delay the attack and um, allowing the rest of them to get back into position and most importantly, protect our goal. Okay guys, for the advanced level, I'm actually going to go through with you some rotation movements in attack that you can do uh, from building up uh, to the attacking third. Uh, you can see on this video, uh, my right centre back actually has the ball and there's a rotation of movement. Interchange of positioning uh, with the central midfielders allowing the left back to actually come in and receive the ball. Uh, when the left back receives the ball, you can see that my left mid drops down to the center line to actually receive the ball. He goes out wide and making sure my two strikers are shifting in uh, to receive the play. The moment the ball reaches my left mid, you can see that my striker is actually being in a good position to receive the ball, allowing the other striker and also the right midfielder to go up and uh, create numbers, uh, numerical advantage uh, on the attacking third. Uh, the moment the ball is being played, you can see that my midfielders actually drop down to create support and to create that uh, diamond shape with my left back. And this is very important uh, when we are playing against a very compact uh, defense, uh, is the switch play. Uh, as you can see, uh, the central midfielder uh, switch the play from the left side to my right midfielder, which is uh, just outside the box. And upon receiving the ball, you can see the right back actually trying to attempt an uh, overlapping run. Now, you probably will be asking, when we have that much numbers on, on the midfield and attacking third, what will happen uh, when we lose possession and the opponent goes for a quick counter-attack? Now, after the shot is being taken, for example, the goalkeeper has the ball, he makes a long kick uh, to the striker. You will see I have two centre-backs with one left-back and one defensive midfielder. The nearest man to the ball, which is the centre back, will actually go down uh, to the right side. Uh, he will now become a right back to slow down the play. Uh, the other centre back will become the right centre back. My uh, defensive midfielder will tuck in uh, to become the other centre back and that allow us to regroup, delay the play and allow the rest of the players to come back.
hope you enjoy this challenge and do remember if you don't get it the first time it's okay uh take your time and keep on practicing if you want to keep up with our challenge do remember to like this video and subscribe and click the notification bell if you're on uh, youtube or follow us if you are on facebook or our instagram and uh, this way you will never miss uh, another challenge video you can also post videos of you attempting the challenge videos on your social media just simply tag us f17 play on and you could be featured in uh, one of our compilation videos see you guys tomorrow for the next challenge and stay safe